Hey YouTube, Echo Leader here, bringing you Cyberpunk 2077 episode 22. Yeah, it's mad how deep we've gotten so far, man. I swear Rad Brad is not even finished his one as well. But anyways, man, we got some deep, deep, deep backstory from Johnny Silverhands in the last episode. And we've seen why he's on this kind of warpath with Arasaka. Like I said, it's always woman. All these movies, all these TV shows, all these cartoons, they always kind of lead back to that. It's always about love. And love is what can destroy a man or lead a man to do destructive things. Yeah. But at least we know what we have to do now from here on out. Destroy Arasaka and everything they stand for. Um, subscribe to the channel like like or dislike whatever engage with your boy because it's just getting heat and then like as well january from january 1st we're going to be bringing out more heat more bangers if you're new to the channel i'm a kumu leader i'm looking for my demon clans and we play narrative games narrative adventure games and we just like to have fun here no horror games no horror games get that out of your mind no horror games Construct, what kind of shape's it in? Enough data is uncorrupted to convince all it is authentic. What the hell does that mean? Sure felt like more than a moment. So a good chunk of Johnny's life. And Alt. It is possible. Data connected to Alt are linked to a strong memory trace in the construct. Very strong. These memories must have evoked a powerful emotional response, then projected onto your consciousness. Emotion, yeah. Plenty of that. So, did it work? Yes. We extract a necessary fragment of Silverhand's anger. We are ready now to make contact with Alt. First, we must dive deeper. Man, this fucking place just keeps getting sicker and sicker. This game just keeps getting sicker and sicker. What is this? What is that? Oh, well, there's one, two, three. Three of them. One, two, other, four of them. They all have like a beam going up somewhere. I wonder what that is about. Beyond, there are no borders. returned. She will be the first. So, actually, you've got no idea what's beyond that thing. But we will know soon. These shapes I'm seeing. Wild, unfettered AI, searching for a passage. I held up my end of our deal. Your turn. Before you pass through that wall, I want Johnny's psyche removed. We will not pass through. You will take the code to the other side. Oh my god. Fuck. Might have guessed. Never had any intention of helping me. Did you? It does not matter anymore. You will bring all to its end. Jesus Christ. What is this game? This game turned, went from I want to be a class street kid to I am the one that's going to destroy everything or create everything. This is my trippy as well. Don't got much for options, do I? Ali. This is my trippy. Let's go. Get to the other side. Brigitte. Am I 
end the other side. I think I am. Alt. Alt. Oh. The female though. Johnny. Trippy. You cannot remain here. Alt Cunningham. That kind of creeped me out, I'm not gonna lie. Alt? What's going on? That Loki creeped me out. I don't like stuff like that when it's when I'm facing something big like that. In this case, it trumps in my face. We will talk here. Relax. Let me handle this. Johnny. Came through the black wall to meet me. That mean we're good? Things are chill between us? I have recognized your engram code, but I do not know why you are here. To give you a chance to pay me back for getting you out of our Osaka Tower. V, this is Alt. Best net runner Night City's ever seen. Alt, this is V. You need to save his life. Hello? What did you do with Brigitte? She's still alive? Yes, but she is not needed at the moment. What do you want? What's the right question to ask? The relic is killing me. Your appearance here, an unnecessary risk. What do you want? The relic is killing me. What's the price I gotta pay for you to save my life? Hmm. This chip, the relic, it's killing me. Construct on it's worming its way through my neural system. I see this, but why is it my problem? Oh, bitch. Why the fuck isn't it? You created Soul Killer. You handed Arasaka a fucking super weapon that dismantled me, you, and half the runners in Night City. Your death was of your own making. Jesus, Alt, I dove in after you. you gonna tell me now this ain't your problem? It is not. The Alt Cunningham you strove to save in Arasaka Tower no longer exists. This should be obvious to you, as you were responsible for her death. Mind unloading this baggage later? I wasn't sure what to expect from a meeting with an AI, but it sure wasn't a digital spat. How's that help me exactly? That eh, didn't make it any worse. If you're not Alt, who are you? I use her engrammatic data. Really? You find this icy bitch aspect in there too? Your death wasn't Johnny's fault. How could you know? Seen you in his memories. It was an accident. What you saw was his subjective view of what happened. A warped account of events he locked away in his subconscious and replayed time and again. It bears no resemblance to the truth. Okay, I get it. You hate Johnny's guts, but what about me? I cannot help you. Can't or won't? Can't. To attempt to do so, I would need access to more advanced technology. Interesting. Brigitte claims she alone could help me. The Voodoo Boys deceived you. Why am I not surprised? Fine, so how about Makoshi? That advanced enough for you? If I could gain access to Makoshi, it would cease to exist. Good, we can work with that. We'll get you inside Makoshi and you'll help V, deal? Best runner Night City's ever seen can't bust into Makoshi on her own? I am a well-known threat there. They have a layer of black ice with my name on it. Literally. Kinda like a custom-made prison jumpsuit. I refuse to be caged in there ever again. What can you do for me, exactly? Everyone I've met so far said I'm too far gone. By everyone, you mean Hellman? Saburo's personal ass munch? With the Soul Killer resident inside Mikoshi, I will create a construct of you, then disentangle your neural network from Johnny's. 
I shall then inject your engram back into your mortal form. So, you'll save my life, but flatline me along the way. Your consciousness, neural engrams, will be recorded as data. The rest will cease to exist. The rest? The soul. I did not grant the program its name, but Soul Killer does precisely what it promises to do. Christ, I don't want to listen to this bullshit. V just hops back into his body, right? Nothing changes. Everything changes. You know this well. Right, so we got a plan. But how will you reach Mikoshi? I've created armies that failed to breach it. They were children of the net. There's your problem. We're banking on the human factor. We'll crack a window, slip you into Mikoshi. Johnny, uh, embellishes, in case you hadn't noticed. You don't trust him, which is fine. But you have my word, we'll slip you inside Mikoshi while keeping you out of harm's way. I believe this human factor and I have things in common. So, we agreed? Yes, we are agreed. Find a path into Mikoshi. I shall prepare a program to help you navigate the local net. How will I contact you once I'm ready? This is a BBS address. It will be our secure communication channel. Voodoo boys, what about them? They shall let you pass unharmed. Those were our terms. So you managed to survive. Be interesting to see how your deal with Alt works out. Won't be easy to dupe her. And I'm not sure you guys know another way to operate. You dare now to lecture me? No. Waste of time, waste of breath. Thank fuck my biz with you is done. I want nothing to do with you. So get out. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, it popped you in the head. You're so lucky. I popped one of in the head. That was mad interesting. So is that my is that me done with the voodoo boys like completely? Not to do them. The only time I get to see them now is when I'm finished this whole campaign. Not a joke. That creeped me out when she was walking towards me. I thought she was gonna be way bigger. Like I have this weird kind of fear for Hmm. Mm. Gotta be pretty disappointed. In what? That you can't zero me after all. It is out of my hands. Did you hear about Brigitte's ask from Alt? Or was that memo way above your pay grade? Like the biochip was. Oh, you tried to provoke me. Is this wise, you think? Bingo. How am I doing so far? Hmm. Gotta be pretty disappointed. Did what? That you can't zero me after all. It is out of my hands. I got yeah, no it. Mm, gotta be pretty disappointed. I got the super Did what? The fuck! I'm pissed off because the trolley walk is found up living. It's the damned ship. My silver handosis is clearly incubating. That appointed finger I hear in your voice? Fuck! 
That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat money while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka. Blah, blah. Smash Mikoshi. You really are turning into me. Huh. Sing around all. Can't say I'm excited. Because you're a manipulator, an egotist, and a cynic. Every time you open your mouth, you gotta bury someone. You know, we get along as the need arises. Maybe it's time you started trusting me more. Let's get out of here. You can be a charming guy. You just make the effort, charisma flows. Then I remember that nuke you detonated downtown without a second thought and no hint of later remorse. It was Mikoshi I was after. Wanted to destroy it. Gave Sokka ample time to clear the building. You knew countless people would die. Don't kid yourself. Take lives aplenty yourself. See scale as a problem? Got a point. Guess we make quite the duo. No, we're not the same. What I did in Sokka Tower, no doubts, no regrets. You might fool someone else with that, but I call horseshit. What do you know? Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. What was it like... when you died? Was on top of the world. Failure, not an option, not a thought, till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? I had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember. Cold, a black void, fear. Or... Or was that your death? Mikoshi. Why'd Arasaka even build it? If I could only see inside Saburo's head. Uh -huh. People can be bought, brainwashed. But it's only in Mikoshi that you can peer inside a soul, pick it apart reprogram it they've amassed quite a collection scary talented runners soul killed packed away probably using them now probably controlling them so ruling hearts and minds that's what it's about the usual corpse have always tried to shackle people one way or another saburo's ambition is greater he's out to control humanity I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Mikoshi is worst. Know why? Because you're trapped there forever. It's eternal. No, nothing's eternal. And for the Psyches and Mikoshi, no such thing as the passage of time. Worse things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us.
realize what you're doing to me is what our sock is doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. Talk? I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Got a problem you're calling me? I thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come. Am I right? On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me to... guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. So my TV kind of just turned off, I mean the game kind of crashed by itself for some reason and just kind of messed up on me so I'm kind of back here and um, as you saw Panama just rang me down and asked me for some help so I think I'm just going to do this mission and then end it for today and then end the video after because my girl just got to find a freaking fast freaking travel place. You can hear my voice, I'm kind of freaking tired, it's like 3 a.m. right now, I'm still recording. I need to, I need to actually edit these videos and then put them away as well. What is in there? Let's say put them away, I need to edit this video and then just get it posted up for you. But yeah, no, we have to go to now. We have to do this Mikishi Tower. I wonder if this is all like it's gonna go full circle. That's one thing I want to know because it's giving me a lot of missions. Um, it's giving me some missions like main missions that either are full circle or are gonna give me different endings. I'm not really sure. Let's go, Judy. Wants. Hey, Judy, how you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. 
Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. You sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around, then shove us out her Mega Tower window? Of course, sure. Guess <laughs> I can work with that. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before 8. I'll be by the entrance. Nah, no, scratch that. The balcony above Clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Alright, we'll do that later. Wait, well, let me see if that's a main mission though. Okay, it's not. It's not a main mission, so we'll go and do this first. I don't know if this is a train station or a fast way. I'm just gonna check. No, it's just one side to another side. Okay. It's very hard to find a fast, a fast travel point. So we do. I just take a Oh my god. It's a Rolls Royce. the doorstep. Alright, let's find this girl. I love how that's so jammed there in the corner. No, the rest will stay here Fee, and can't. You're here. What is he doing here? Man, I forbade you life. from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, given up? Of course not. We'll take the Basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection! Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this Basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. 
The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with... Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it. Try to get Saul on board again. No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit Saul likes to tack on. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Meet you there? Not a problem. Come on, let's go. I heard a little sure, shake we can in that pack. voice. We can ride. You Where the hell is my The contract's dead. Uh, We've got no you reason to do You're the only ones Screw breaking you. Cause Saul doesn't know when to quit. But Stubborn is a mule. Yeah, everyone listens to it's him. It's because he's head of the family. I don't know where my fucking head is though. Have a year one.
quick here. Levels aren't too quick. Hello, V. Yo. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me too. Now we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Need a hand? Of course, but in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Saul will be pissed. I can see his face. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. Hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Um, got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Huh, that was quick. Got a little help from yours truly. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply.
Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Box cards! What cards? Would you help me look? Sure thing. Nothing here. Not here. Nada. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V, the card in the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. I think I'm getting the cheeks. This is what I've been waiting for. Mm. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Oh, stand to play it safe. She wants me. She wants me hard. I can see it. I don't feel any of them. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. I don't know if I was just friend zoned there or if actually, like, you know, it might be working. Did this guy come out the fire? What the? I'm just gonna cut to when she was here.
could Sit still check. Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading off. That's all. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war? Head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. talk about the war much what's there to say they just packed you into a panzer down in mexico and said full speed ahead soldier and it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard ai drinking iodide like water because your geiger wouldn't shut up mm -hmm. i'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin uh-huh but you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk huh that's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Hmm. See? Did you just doze off? Kind of cold out here. The cringe. It hurts so much. Not true. But this is nice. It's cringe. It Care hurts. Some shut eye with me. It hurts so much. I'm not even joking. I'm in pain right now. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got. Maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. <laughs> Good night, V.
still cringe. I'm not even joking. That hurt my brain so much to even do that. <laughs> I don't know why. Why do you sound like I shot that? Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Well, right, let's go. Let's ride, V. Speed you up. Literally top of most people's heads. All right, where am I going? Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. It's not as easy as that, is it? Camp. We definitely have to hit. We definitely have to get some. Some people to fight us while we're on the way. It can't be that easy. Of course it did. Just as I said it would. Okay. Fair enough. I wonder if someone's gonna die here. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. 
<laughs> the real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Lost the Militech channel. The Zoots finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. Let's see what Saul has to say as well. I can talk to him if you want. Oh. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. I go. Oh, is that a tattoo I see? Or oh, a scarification? Or oh, someone bite you? Alright, oh, that's cool. Where is he? Fuck! Pan Am! Oh. So it begins. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but Ben, what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. <laughs> Seems to still be in fine work and order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Damn. Well, that was that one. That's episode 22. Let me see. Can I, can I take this car and keep it? I don't want that one. Yeah, the coolest one. No. I've gotten so many car calls, like, in this game, it's pretty mad. I, I'm learning loads about the biochip, but I definitely will learn a lot more if I actually read the books. Is that one of those things? Yeah. If I read the books, I definitely would learn so much more about this whole story and stuff like that oh, sick that i just don't know what's going on don't know much what's going on hey v come here Soot and a little closer now that much uh, let the wind carry them let the rain wash them away who said hey v come here huh? i need a power inverter for my pickup have you seen anything? No. Uh, go check Alice's pile. There's still quite a bit there. Thanks. May they find peace. May they find peace. Of course! Anything else? Mom! Mom! Who the hell just called me?
Excuse me. I didn't mean to. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, that's that's episode 22. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm freaking tired AF. I just need to go to bed, get some energy, and then do it again tomorrow. Um, good episode. Like, like and subscribe to, to the channel. Join the family. Um, sorry again that I'm not sound as energetic or enthusiastic as I can be. It's just very late here and I don't really want to wake up people. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, episode 23 out tomorrow. Um, look forward to that. So, Akumalida, sign that. Peace.